Hi, this is Max Williams with the United Real Estate, and today I'm in Glen Allen. More specifically, I'm off the Staples Mill Road corridor, and today we're going to take a look at a brick rancher, three bedroom, one bath, built in 1959. This home is located here on a nice, well kept street. We've got other brick ranchers that are pretty good looking homes. Uh, they were all probably built about the same time, and uh, one thing about this price range is you will definitely not find new construction of all brick until you start getting way, way up in price. There's even a brick on the back. Uh, today, if they were to do a brick a rancher, it typically would just be the front, uh, but this is brick on all four sides. We've got uh, a replacement roof. The roof looks like it's in good condition. Replacement windows. And uh, this home is in pretty good condition. Probably could use a few updates but nothing major uh, as we come in we come into the living room and we have wood floors these floors would refinish nicely they're in good condition just need a simple refinish to bring them back to life we've got a coat closet there in the corner and of course a wood burning fireplace it's a focal point here in this living room straight ahead we have our formal dining room back when they built these homes, of course, formal dining rooms were the norm, and uh, that's what we have right here. There's somebody calling me right there trying to get a rent-to-own home. Uh, we do have rent-to-own homes available in Henrico, Hanover, and Chesterfield starting from $1,250 a month. This is a nice little office here. This could be used a number of different ways. We've got a door there going to the side, but this was Probably an addition, you can see the brick wall there, but it'd be a great little study or playroom even. Okay, here to the left, we have our eat-in kitchen. Got a small area there that you could probably put a small dinette table. Uh, these cabinets, while they are original cabinets, they're real wood. And with uh, changing out that hardware and uh, maybe a little refinishing job, they would be good as new. I would probably come into this kitchen, redo that countertop, redo those uh, appliances there, and uh, maybe install a dishwasher someplace and uh, have a nice modernized kitchen without paying a whole lot of money. So with a little bit of imagination uh, and your skills, you can do that for not a lot of money. This is our utility slash laundry area, and I'd probably want to partition this off some way We've got uh, an area here where you could probably put in some uh, bifold doors and maybe frame that out to, to kind of give this area a little bit of, um, uh, hide it, so to speak. We don't want to really see this uh, right off of the kitchen. We've got breakers there, which is great. This is our boiler here for our water heater. Our water heater, excuse me, for our um, hot water radiator system and uh, oil, of course, is the fuel source for that. This home sits, is situated on just over a third of an acre, which is a big lot uh, for a house this size and price range. We've got two storage buildings back there, plenty of storage. Uh, we've got some pretty good privacy there uh, on the back as a result. And of course, I mentioned earlier that we've got brick all the way around. This is a really good sized deck back here as well. Okay, one thing about this floor plan Back when they built these ranchers, this is a pretty typical floor plan. We can go into this room right here. We've got a door, pocket door, that of course doesn't want to work for me now on video, but it does slide across to give you privacy to this room. This room could be used as a actual dining room, or as a formal dining room, or it could be used as a bedroom. You do have a closet there, so an appraiser would count it as a legitimate bedroom so it could go either way all right through the hallway we've got our pink and gray full bath uh, depending on your taste this pink might be beautiful to you if not uh, Duron does sell a coating where you can actually change out this uh, pink for another color without having to rip out all the time we've got a nice handheld shower head that I don't have to replace, which is always awesome. This is going to be bedroom number one here. I think this is probably going to be our master. This looks like our largest bedroom. Pretty typical of a house built in this era. 
Once again, notice the wood floors throughout the entire home here, with the exception of that little study. Uh, if you are an allergy sufferer, that is a great thing. Uh, if wood floors in the bedroom aren't your thing, you can easily do a small remnant and be squared away as far as your flooring in your bedrooms. Uh, if you have questions about this or any other home on the market or the Rent to Own program, please give me a call. My name is Max Williams. I can reach on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams. Thanks so much for taking a tour. Have a great day.